Hey, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to show how you can manually align a shot and set up a coordinate system. And that's often useful when there's no particular clear-cut coordinate system available to use for a star 3 tracker setup or using the autoplace tool. So typically that's natural scenes like this, where here we have a ravine and some woods, so there's not any particularly clear coordinate system that we want to pick out. So we're just going to start out doing an auto solve on this and then we'll clean up the trackers a little bit and refine the solve. So now we have our basic solve here and again there's there's nothing in particular well suited for setting up the coordinate system. So we're just going to start working based on what it is that we want to do in the shot. We're going to add another kind of little tree stump down there. So to start out with I'm going to change the color of that one tracker to make it easy to find again because my next step is to turn on this hole button. And As you see now that it's the camera that's selected and we've gone into the lock mode so that the camera is going to stay selected even as I move everything around so you can see that with the whole mode turned on, I'm moving the scene rather than some in, just the individual camera that's selected. So I just reposition the whole entire scene, including the camera path and the position of all the trackers, to put that tracker that we're interested in down at the origin. So now let's go and we'll, we'll turn that whole mode back off. And that's a, a key thing to do. You notice it turns off the lock button as well. If you don't pay a little bit of attention, you can wind up with the lock selection uh, item here still selected when you're on other panels working on other things. And that can make things just a little confusing for a moment until you realize that. So uh, with the scene now positioned with that tracker at the origin, Let's make our little mock tree trunk and put that in there. And we'll scrub through the shot. And, you know, we're getting some arbitrary sort of orientation for the scene. Just it was initially based on the position of the default camera and what the orientation of the scene happened to be at the, the start during the solve. So we'd like to just tweak the what what direction is up sort of orientation of the entire scene so let's go and we'll turn that whole mode back on and we'll switch to the rotation mode that's just the E key on the keyboard and now as I rotate in this whole mode you'll see that in the 3D view the entire scene's moving around but in the camera view, nothing's happening except for the apparent orientation of the mesh is changing, even though it's really what's what's staying still. So, you know, in that whole mode, by default, the scene moves, the trackers move, the meshes don't. That's so that you can drop a mesh model into a scene and then manually al align the entire scene to that model that you've already created. Now if you decide that you want the meshes to move, there is this whole effects meshes button and if I hit that, now the entire thing goes and you'll see in the camera view that really nothing was happening because everything was moving together as a unit. So I can go and use this rotation to tweak the entire orientation of the scene so I can get it to whatever I like. And having done that, there's one other key step that I want to do, which is that if I go and resolve the scene now, there's nothing to keep the same positioning and scaling of the scene because there's nothing there are no tracker locks at all or camera position locks set up. So what I can do instead 
to make sure that the effort that I spent manually aligning this you know, sticks around for subsequent solves. And you know, it might be I notice some tracking problem that I want to fix or add a couple more trackers and, and I might want to resolve it later and I don't want to mess up the manual alignment that I've already done. So you know, we do need to turn off the lock selection. We'll go and just pick out a couple of trackers in the environment. And these really ought to be ones that you have some degree of confidence in that are fairly robust. These are going to be the ones that, that keep to their same location. So on the coordinate system panel, I'm going to click the set seed button. And that just copies the solved coordinates to the seed coordinates. So the two other things I'm going to do are to turn off the seed because I'm not actually going to be doing a seed type solve, but I'm going to make these all lock points. So now if you go back and you look at the constrained points view, you see each of those four points is locked to the different set of coordinates that it's already at. So now if I go and resolve, and I can even go and do an automatic solve just from scratch, it, they're going to come back to exactly the same coordinates. So that's how you keep your manual alignment so that it'll keep on uh, staying around even if you resolve subsequently. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can go and do a manual alignment to get whatever sort of eyeballed alignment that you might want to have and then be able to keep it around for subsequent solves as well. Thanks and take care.